currently with my first client, 7K euros per month revenue. If you're watching this and you're just kind of thinking like, okay, it's for these guys to have that success, but it's not for me. I'm the perfect example of someone who had imposter syndrome, not thinking that a client's ever gonna be paying me this much. What you guys have done really well is given the blueprint of how to actually walk through, give that clarity on what actually needs to be done. Looking to scale that up to getting to that 30K a month mark. Anthony, thank you for joining us to share your experience working with us in the accelerator and partnering with us can you share a little bit about yourself your journey where you've come from and exactly where you are now and then we'll get into where you're looking to go yeah sure so i'm um, anthony founder of block five and we work with in the renewable sector and the logistics sector and currently uh just with my first client um which and at uh, 7k euros per month revenue and looking to scale that up so you know within the next four, next few months getting that to sort of three four more clients onboarded so getting to that 30k a month mark that's sort of what i'm set uh by the end of <clears throat> sort of latest q3 um if not sooner um so yeah more than on track um so yeah strong start strong start what were you doing beforehand and then what made you want to become a growth partner, run your own business? And I know it's not just a growth partner and I, I want to dig into what that means as well within this session, but what made you want to start your own business, transition into working with us from where you were and can you speak a little bit about that? Yeah, so I was doing a few different things. I had some projects which some had more or less success, uh, both of my own projects um, and also working in companies before but I always knew that that wasn't that working at, at a company it wasn't really what I was um, destined to do for me I always knew I was going to start a business um, I just didn't really know how and what that would look like and before I joined you guys I was actually looking at another kind of business that I was working on which was like a sort of video production sort of like um, uh, consortium I guess so I was trying to put together different like producers and like do all this stuff and it was actually I think Jacob reached out to me on Twitter and he was like uh, you know some, talking about the business and was like okay when you know like when do you want to start building a real business something along those lines and it got to me it was like there was something in that messaging where I was like okay they've like they've the fact they've been able to touch a nerve <laughs> so well through DM, I, I was like, I was like, okay, I think, I think they might be onto something here. So, um, yeah, that was how I kind of first came across you guys, and uh, and yeah, wanted to obviously hear a bit more at that point. That's great. And do you feel like you're building a real business now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. You know, and I think that's the other thing that you guys, obviously it's brought a lot, but I think one key thing is having that clarity and that confidence that, you know, I know where, I know what the next steps look like. And I think that's the thing that it sort of brought a lot of ideas yeah. together. And I think there's so many things that you can kind of focus on as a business owner, everything's, you know, trying to get your attention. So actually having you guys, I kind of think about it like, you know, when you go bowling, having the safety net on where you just, you know, you can't go too wrong with it. Yeah. And I think that's what you guys have been really helpful with. One of the things is kind of keeping it, keeping everything a little bit more in line. So I know that I'm like on the right, on the right path. Um, so yeah, it's been a big, been a big uh, shift for sure. That's excellent. I'm so pleased to hear that. You know, we, when we were speaking before, we were talking about the difference of you know becoming a real business owner and having the ability to to build something of of true value starting from you know one client and then scaling up from there so i'm really pleased that you do feel like you you're building a real business now i think the growth partner model and the principles that work for so many businesses outside of just growth businesses is that you actually do learn so much about how to be a good business person. You know, the sales, the market, and the ops, the account management, the communication, 
the thinking, the planning, the execution of it. You know, there's there's so much that working and building one of these businesses, there's so much skills that you learn that can compound just for so many other things to to do in the future. How was the transition and what did you go from and to? You said you were kind of working on a, a couple of different projects, employed a little bit. What was that deciding factor where you were like, actually, you know, it is time for me to to go all in on something and to build something of real value? Yes, great question. You know, if I'm honest, I kind of felt like there was so much potential that I had if I'm really, yeah. if I'm really like reflecting on it. And I didn't feel like I was um, even close to that. Um, you know, I'm still there, you know, I'm still, I'm still on, on that journey. But I really just kind of had to look at like where where do I actually want to be and what is the current trajectory? And it just didn't feel like, you know, it, it was going to get me, you know, to where I wanted to get to. Like I was looking at other jobs at the time as well, like getting a bit swept back into that. And I was like, no, I think there's and there's a lot of pressure kind of, of, of doing that, staying in that traditional uh, world or uh, approach. But I was like, no, I think, I think that there's better ways to do it. And, you know, obviously we had a few conversations. I was like, okay, I think, I think he's onto something here, you know? And uh, yeah, I'm really glad that I kind of trusted my intuition on that and, and uh, you know, followed that, followed that, that inkling. It's been a privilege working with you so far. And um, I hope for, for many months and years to come. In terms of the growth that you've had in sort of, becoming the business owner obviously a massive amount of it at the start is about signing the first client because until you get there everything is a goal it's an aspiration you know you feel like you're an aspiring entrepreneur but maybe not quite there yet but once once that that sort of first deal is is agreed you feel like you're you're moving to the next level i know you've been working on finding your niche the offer what you're going to deliver and we've had a a lot of conversations around about positioning and how we're going to do it what we are going to do and it's for me it's very messy and when you when you get started even like you said with the 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 guides because business is far more complicated and has way more nuances than what's projected in my opinion on the external especially in the SMMA space, you know, that, you know, you just plug in cold email systems and, and businesses work, which is very much not the case for 99.99999% of businesses. But when you've been figuring this out, and I always feel like it's the, it's kind of the, the, there's a, there's a bit of, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but there can be more confusion before there's clarity in terms of exactly what you're meant to be doing. And in my opinion, the growth partner model and the principles of how we look at it, it's about the discovery and how we find that out to to actually win that first project. Because online, you might say, oh, people closing these 50, 100, 500K deals. But okay, how how does that become my reality? Because sometimes that bridge can seem too far away and we don't understand the the steps to get there. So can you just share... A little bit about your journey of how you started to discover and think differently than what you were and those key steps that brought you to this point of signing this first partner and then um that then creating that kind of foundations to go from there so can you just share like a little bit about that journey in terms of you know coming on board starting to learn more about the offers and the niche and the positioning and and stuff can you share a little bit about that yeah, so I think what's important first thing to mention here is that like what now that I've got, you know, this sort of deal and things going, it's very easy. It might be easy to sort of look at me and kind of think that I've always had it really I've always had that belief and I've always had that, you know, that confidence from the get go. But, you know, that has been a process of sort of working through some of those limiting beliefs that I had. Um, so, you know, if you're watching this and you're just kind of thinking like that you might have that's like okay it's for these guys to have that success but it's not for me then I think you know I'm the perfect example of someone who had a lot of those you know imposter syndrome not thinking 
that a client's ever going to be paying me this much. You know, all of those things were going on for me. So I think what has sort of really helped, it's like putting in the action, putting in the work. Um, and I think uh, Joe sort of talks about it of like unlocking the levels and, you know, seeing it more like a game where you're just sort of going through those steps. And, you know, what you guys have done really well is given the blueprint of how to actually walk through, you know, give that clarity and, and what actually needs to be done. Um, and yeah, there's so many, so many things, so many ways that you can kind of get distracted um, and kind of bringing it back to what actually matters. I think that's where, you know, I think that's been a huge part of, of what you guys do really well. And I think as well as that of, you know, what the community has is, it's really sort of normalized success in many ways. You know, you're seeing all the guys winning in the channel and you're like, okay, wow, this, this guy's got this deal. And you know, like two, it, three deals a day now. <laughs> it's getting yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> I have to turn off the notification just non-stop <laughs> ringing the bell but uh but yeah it, it, you know f for me anyway um that inspired like first of all I'm really happy to see everyone in the community Beautiful. winning like I I'm genuinely like really chuffed whenever anyone has a win especially if it's someone where I kind of see that they've gone through some of that transformation as well where maybe they weren't believing that it was sort of possible and then kind of having that shift. Um, so yeah, being around people that, that that's the new norm. I think your environment is so important. Obviously they say, what is it? The, the five people that you spend the most time around, but I think people don't give that enough weight when it comes to business because entrepreneurship, it's a very sort of, can be quite a lonely journey, especially I'm a solo founder. Um, I don't, you know what, once I'm building out the team, I think there's a different relationship you have with the team members. So actually having other founders and, you know, guys and girls really pushing forward, I think that's what sort of makes a lot of, uh, really makes a difference in, in having that kind of, uh, that feedback loop. And they say, they say money loves speed, right? So when you guys are coming back really quickly with what's happening, it really helps to, uh, to you know, move quickly in business. And I think that's something that, really makes a difference as well that's awesome i want to circle back on some of the transformations that you've had from a personal growth side how you're looking at things differently and why but first i want to dig into the process of how you figured out your offer and closed the first deal and the the process to that because everyone's a slightly different even though we do follow a an approach to acquire partners at scale that there is different parts to it you know it's the, there is a process but sometimes we need to you know deviate from the process to get big, big business to business clients over the line you know we're not selling widgets here we're we are selling <laughs> holistic solutions for for business growth so can you just share a little bit about what that process looked like from to 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 acquire the the client that you're working with now yeah, so it took uh, quite a few meetings. We met uh, several times with with uh, the, the sort of champion of the deal, so to speak, with other members of the team. Um, you know, we met in person when when one of them flew over to London. So it was really something that I felt like it was important to not rush. And actually, you know, we're talking it has the potential to be over a hundred k contract over the year, and and longer so you know for those kind of deals it, it can be a case of just one one and one deal close um and i think what that's really sort of solidified is that what when, when when we're going you know having that um conf he has that confidence and they have that confidence in me that i'm actually going to show up and do the work because if you're ready you kind of built up the bank of uh of goodwill yeah. you know and and i think that's in business where everyone's looking to sort of take without giving, you know, having that upfront um, sort of benefit. And we ended up meeting three or four, four times in the end, met with someone else on his team. I've helped him with, you know, stuff that's way out of the scope of, of, of the contract, 
you know but again it's just showing your value and consulting a little bit in terms of helping them overcome some blockers yeah exactly and and you know building that relationship um with the sort of different team members um not just the one person within within the organization as well um but it really was like you know going through the proposal like what you guys sort of spelled out in the in the sales process i think that also just to kind of touch on that's i've never done sales before really you know um i i've done a lot of marketing i'm I'm experienced in that realm but when it comes to sales i wouldn't say that that would be my strong point and having that kind of confidence that i could really take them through the steps and get getting on calls like if you saw the first couple of calls i did honestly it was like a train wreck you know because i didn't know i didn't have that confidence i didn't feel comfortable um speaking with these business owners but then as I'm going through these, as I'm booking more and more meetings, I'm like, I'm not, I know not only can I do that for my business, but I also I can do it for them, you know? So it's kind of this positive feedback loop where you're getting, you know, you're showing that you can do it and you are going through that, through those steps. And then suddenly it's like, well, yeah, of course I can do it for you guys as well, you know? And it's kind of that light bulb, bit of a light bulb moment to have that, yeah. have it all like come together, you know? Yeah, because you're doing a, few, a portion of it for yourself, you then gain up more confidence that you can actually deliver that for prospects and partners who you onboard. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. That makes sense. And what's been the most helpful for you along your journey of working with us? Like, what are the areas where you've received the most value from? Is it kind of more the the supporting side, the insights that are actually more like the structure and the growth plans. What's been the game changers for you where it's like actually significantly moved the needle for you? Yeah, there are a couple of big ones. So, I mean, you know, I'm always going deep on those Friday calls. <laughs> One of the last ones there. Um, Three hour so, sessions. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's almost it's, to say it's the highlight of the week. It's not far off. Maybe I need to, maybe I need to get more, no, yeah, trust me. Just <laughs> no, you, you keep doing the Friday calls. You 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 make all the money now before you get distracted because the the next level is there's there's too many red dress distractions. So keep it as the highlight for now. Yeah. Okay. It okay. No, so so that's that's been a big one. You know, having that having that sort of approach with with the mindset, um, those shifts there, I think have been key because if you don't get you know the mindset right. Mm -hmm. there's only so much that can kind of come after that um and then also like the process of bringing that together so you know working with um number of members of your team like the support that they've given like they're very quick to answering any issues that i have um and i think the the growth plan's been a big one um i think that sales process really would be the other thing you know just because that would be the area where i haven't had that experience particularly in like b2b enterprise sales which is now where i'm more dealing with those bigger clients you know it's it's quite different to b2c which is where i've you know traditionally uh focused more on so i think that shift and understanding like real businesses and i think also you know kind of understanding both what where my skills the skills that i have and also the skills that i'm missing and kind of like bringing that together because it's not like I didn't know anything about anything, yeah. but you know, I did the have those skills. Work. Yeah. But there were also a lot of things that I didn't really know, you know, how to do. And it's kind of seeing like those more, it's sort of like sophisticated marketing in like unsophisticated markets and not that they're not, you know, developed in other ways, but when it comes to being like more, uh, you know, using those sort of skills actually, with the sales and everything that you guys are teaching, it's like, it's coming together and then, and then it, and then it makes sense, you know? And, and, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of kind of a lot of light bulb moments throughout the, throughout the course. It's amazing. Man. And many to come as well. We're For sure. It's just the start. Yeah. It, yeah. it honestly is just the beginning. And that's what I, like, that's one of the things that I love is that for, for me, this model has given me the, the opportunity to, make some good money, which is case normally why we start all businesses. So let's not, um, avoid that point, but also meet great people and learn 
unbelievable amount of skills that I'll I'll use forever more to to go on and hopefully build m more successful businesses and work with even better people. And I see you going exactly the same way. I, I feel like it's the same for every growth partner. We have that opportunity. In terms of the direct kind of support that you've got from our team and like for example you mentioned the, the kind of growth plans and the sales process in what areas did you find that the you know, support really benefited you like you said there's been some key shifts in terms of your your minds the your the, the way you're looking at things the way you're looking at business the way your the areas in which you're focused but in terms of you know how that's been delivered to you to enable you to learn whilst also now now growing a business what what are the things that really brought the most value in in that aspect in what sense in terms of uh in what yeah in terms of the support so like from a is, is it be more around like the calls the content the the feedback the specific one-to-ones and more the structure like wh where do you think that the the most value has been for you there's been value throughout, honestly, you know, the one to ones with, uh, uh, with Jackson always, you know, always really enjoy those, like get a lot of, a lot of sort of direct feedback, particularly on the sales stuff. If I've got any, um, if I've got any sort of existing clients in the pipeline I'm speaking with can get some direct feedback on, on what to do there. Um, you know, Kate's been great and, and onboarding and, and, you know, really just laying out exactly how the process is going to work, you know, for those five months, what the steps are. Um, and yeah, just in the channel as well, you know, like if I've got any tech issues or anything that the team always, you know, so good at just getting back on and really giving like, you know, not just, they're not just getting back, but they're actually giving you like the answers that you need. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, really on point with, with that. Um, and the calls as well, obviously I'm, I'm there every Friday, not just every Friday, but I'm pretty, pretty consistent. I'd say yeah. most of them. Um, and yeah, you know, obviously you guys have designed it in a way where it's bringing together, you've obviously sat down and said, okay, what are the most important aspects that we can give to business owners, you know, which is why every single aspect, every call for, you know, split between the days, there's a focus on those parts so it's kind of like you can't really go wrong you know like you've got yeah. you've got all the major bases covered like yeah um, it's like what, what more what, <laughs> you really have to yeah i don't know i mean you have to do the work obviously but really yeah. like doing the work and it's it's all there for you you know for the taking i love that and i know we on the session we had before we were saying as long as you do the work you're going to get success but the minimum requirement to grow a business is to do a level of work and then create leverage to make money uh, money for easier but i think at the start being aware that you know growing a business and even growing to the next level of the business it requires effort you know effort over time equals results and i think as long as you're you can accept that and take responsibility for that and and have like you said good advice and guidance around you and find a, a business model that works and that you can apply, then it's only just a matter of time and continues to put in the right work. So circling back now to some of the changes that you've had around mindset and how you're thinking about business in, in general, what's been those sort of major changes and what sort of principles do you think you've learned from building your own business and working with us in the the growth partner that that's changed so for example i guess stuff around how you manage clients how you think about relationships how you think about your business what are some of the key differentiators that you that you believe and trust and do now yeah. versus where you were yeah um well it's having that prioritizing better so, you know, there's so many things that I can be focused on. So actually having that clarity on like, what are the key, you know, deliverables to really drive the business forward. Um, so again, kind of having that, having that sort of clear, like laid out. 
Um, I think also having more um, having more of a um, like a just just completely opening up what's possible as well, mm. right? You know, you see what's yeah, like you're saying, what's happening in the channels, um, what that sort of model of success looks like, and I kind of look at you and and a lot of the other guys in the program, and I think that there's also a sort of disconnect sometimes between someone who's really successful and that they're kind of working absolutely working to the bone and they're miserable so i think that there was a bit of a shift there that you actually can really be happy and successful and also still um still you know uh, make lots of money and be healthy and everything else um and i think for some reason that was almost like you gotta, you gotta pick one or the other, you know. So, and and that was tripping me up, you know, because I want to be healthy and I want to do those things, but if it's at the expense, so it's kind of like, really just seeing that it it all comes together. Like the more, obviously, you can't do absolutely everything, but yeah. you know, the the more that you, you know, excel in one area, it kind of multiplies into the other areas, you know. Um, so having that, like being around that. I think is really uh has, has been a big one for sure yeah and you've really built out the network with some of the guys in the uk and stuff haven't you in terms of i think that's super important like you said going back to the the five chimp theory of who you spend time with you start <laughs> behaving like it's 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 super prominent i find even now i have to catch myself if i'm spending time around people who aren't super ambitious I'm, I feel a bit more chill and I'm like, whoa, and then I'll go spend time with people who are like super ambitious and I'm, I'll want to do more work so I can even, yeah. I can still feel how I can still be influenced to, um, to, to, to do those things, even with a lot of, you know, self-reflection around habits and, and behaviors. I think such a, being a, being in a positive environment around good people driven towards similar sort of goals but in different industries and niches is super powerful because the power within the community you you all learn together apply apply together so yeah that's um i'm really pleased that you've um you've engaged within the 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 community especially in the going to meet the guys in in london and stuff like that is there anything that you wish you would have known at the start when you were thinking about becoming a growth partner that you'd that that you think would be helpful to share if someone considering going down this this route that you, know, you would have just like oh only if i had that bit of information i would have been able to do this earlier or without as much pain or doubt as as what i had yeah yeah i think um knowing first of all not having that stress around it you know and having that having that belief in myself and that's, I think, what we were talking about not too long ago, you know, having that trust, um, trust in the process, trust in myself that I can deliver. And I think, yeah, it's so easy to kind of externalize, oh, the, oh they had the success for this reason or they had, this, they had it because of that. And it's like, no, it's the same. Like, there's no reason why, you know, it can't be um, anyone else, you know, like, sure, that's not to say there aren't, advantages and disadvantages but the idea that it's like you know that it's not achievable for for someone else watching this or anything it's really like how much you apply yourself um so what i would kind of you know urge myself first of all i'd say to just relax and <laughs> trust, trust the process trust yourself and uh and yeah like not um not no, not worry so much like just just put in the work and also kind of be okay with not being not everything being perfect you know and that's that's not like if if you're trying to get everything like all the ducks in a row it's it's too hard to really move forward and i think that's probably if i'm honest still something that i'm working uh on and you know that you guys have been helping with it's like it doesn't have to have have everything lined up to to get results to actually you know move the business forward into the next level um and i think that's sometimes people are trying to think oh well i need the perfect time to start the program or i need this cash in the bank it's like you're going to be waiting a long time 
you know yeah. so having that just like being okay with that imperfection that imperfect action i know it's a bit of a cliche but like just just going like keep on taking action and it doesn't have to all work out perfectly all the time but like being okay with that you know that's excellent and the anything else to share um um just yeah if you've made it this far um no i really couldn't um couldn't recommend it enough like to uh to to get involved in the community it's been it's really been a transformational period for me in my growth and development as a as an entrepreneur as a business owner you know i'm 29 but there's guys a lot older and girls a lot older than me younger um you know they're getting results as well um so yeah if you're kind of considering it i would just implore you to uh to yeah pull the trigger and uh and uh, see you in there <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. Um, just before we jump off, and I might live to regret this question. It's kind of a weird question to ask on a, a case study, but I always try to practice radical honesty and transparency, something that I stole from Ray Dalio. I'm we, worried we now. Spoke, no, we spoke a lot about taking action and that, that that's the key to success. That That is the only thing that I've seen as a blocker for people to to not make progress or to get outcomes that they want is is that your understanding and is there anything else that you know if if you do want to become a growth partner that you do just need to take into consideration before you know knowing that it's it's right for you for me it's just it's taking action on a continuous basis but is there anything else that that you say or is is that your understanding as well yeah you know and i think I think what comes with that, it's like the way that you see yourself ultimately, like how you, your, what your identity is. Do you identify as someone who takes action, right? Do you, you know, are you worthy of having, like, do you feel that, you know, that that success is, uh, is sort of, you know, written in the stars, so yeah. to speak. And it kind of, you know, it comes with, with taking that action it's not like you're going to have it all um perfectly sort of like you, out the gate but the more that you the more that you do that the more that you feel that and that's certainly what i've kind of been f feeling more and more is like you know taking that action also feeling that person who takes action and gets results um so yeah having that having it's pretty much what you're saying but uh but yeah definitely it's always yeah related to you know so, what you i got it so even if you have even if you're not that person who you feel like you take massive action at the moment as long as you can start to do it as you yeah. start to do it you can gain more confidence and then continue to do it so just kind of starts with 100%. small steps to do and then you might mess up a couple of your first sales calls but there's there's 12 and a half million businesses in that kind of mid-sized business section, which I think are perfect to go after for growth partners. So I like to think as I, I've got 12 and a half million chances to, to get it wrong and I only need a couple to get it right to, to make quite a bit of money. Yeah, look, you know, I've flopped on calls. I've been, I don't know, if, uh, you could say cussed out maybe, or maybe that's a bit strong, but it's definitely people that, you know, that like, but that's, that's part of it. And I think me at the start, you know, I would have taken that pretty, badly but again that's sort of where that resilience is building like like you're saying 12 million businesses 12 12 you know? and a half million in a in a good size bracket for growth partners to go after that's that's how many in that yeah. kind of mid-size so, bracket out. so you know if it doesn't work out with one of them yeah. and you've got a lot of decision different decision makers in there as well to to get in so yeah the, it's a the numbers are excellent as long as you take action question just before we go if you were to do this by yourself versus working with us, would you have stuck at it? And what do you think the differences would have been in outcomes and you'd kind of trying to do something like this by yourself versus working with us? I would like to think I would have stuck at it, but I also know that that's easier said than done. And, um, you know, I would have, I would have had a lot more uncertainty 
doing it and I think a lot more confusion um, and, and less fun as well you know it's a journey where you want to be you want to you want to enjoy that that um, that period right um, and I would have I'd like to think I would have stuck at it, but I, I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much. And I certainly wouldn't have had as much clarity on where I'm going and, and probably not the success that I'm, you know, not the same trajectory that I'm geared to. Um, so I kind of look at it, you know, not only is the investment, but also what's the cost and what's the risk of, of not doing it. And, and I kind of got to a point where I was like, okay, if I don't start, if I don't change that, that trajectory, you know, then, then there's a cost to that as well, right? If it's bringing on a couple clients, sort of 1K a month for sort of two, you know, shorter retainers, things like that. It's not really, uh, yeah, it's not really um, looking at the, the, the potential as well, I think. And I think that's always something to bear in mind when you're looking at investments. It's like, what's the alternative, you know? Um, so, you know, I'm glad I took that uh took that leap um but it wasn't so much of a leap it was a very you know calculated and and well thought out decision and and uh, yeah you yeah, put a lot of thought the, into it I, I i remember yeah you put a lot of thought yeah. into making the right decision yeah for sure yeah yeah absolutely and thank you very much for sharing your experience appreciate you brother amazing thank you jordan thank you